your host once again for another episode of Trying Terms Talk Show. And we are learning about the one that you've probably been mostly hyped up for, the SD70 series. Well, I'm, I'm here to teach you all for those of you fans who are all new and to learn about more stuff. And for more content of this, just subscribe. Just, just subscribe to my channel and then you've got it. Alright, so, let's get this started. So, to start off with this locomotive here, this was built in late 1992, which was in response to the General Electric C44-9W, in which we learned on the GE C44-9W series. And this locomotive, right here, is the very first one out of the EMD SD70 series, and it's called the EMD SD70. And the SD means special duty, and the 70 is just the model number. The railways who owned the EMD SD70 were Norfolk Southern, Conrail, Illinois Central, and SPCC. This type of SD70 locomotive was built, was in production for 12 years from 1992 to 2004. Instead of having the usual standard cab, it has a totally different cab on it here. And this locomotive is called the EMD SD70M. This locomotive has a modernized cab, hence what the M stands for in SD70M. And all the railways who own the SD70M were Union Pacific, NYSW, CSX, and Norfolk Southern, I believe. Introduced in 1993 all the way up to 2000, is this is an alternating current traction version of the EMD SD70M. There is actually no physical difference as there is a difference on the inside of the locomotive on how it is ran. The SD70M is equipped with a direct current traction. However, though, this unit is equipped with alternating current traction. And this locomotive is called the SD70MAC. The SD meaning special duty, 70 is the model number, the M meaning that it is modernized, and AC means that it has alternating current traction. I got a short name for this. These locomotives are called are called Max. They just call them the Mac or something, you know? Like for example, the SD80MAC is called the Big Mac. It's like that too for this one. And railways who own the SD70MAC. CSX, Kansas City Southern, BNSF, Conrail, TFM, and Alaska Railroad. Alright, now let's take a look at this locomotive. This is a rare kind of locomotive right here, because only 26 of them were made, and they were made for only one railroad, and that is Canadian National. It looks exactly like an SD70M and an SD70M AC. Once again, no physical difference at all, but trust me, it is different. It has an isolated cab. It's called the EMD SD70I. And the I stands for isolated. And there you go. There's not very much to tell about this locomotive right here. It's, it's a different version of the SD70M. It's another type of it. It's called the EMD SD70M-2. Now remember the dash numbers. It's, that dash number just doesn't mean anything. It's just a dash number. That's literally it. It's the counterpart DC traction to the SD70 ACE, very identical, which we will get to next. The only railways I ever owned it were Canadian National, Norfolk Southern, FEC, CITX, and New England Central. And here we are, we've made it to the EMD SD70 ACE now, as you can see right here. It is pretty much very identical to the SD70M-2. As I said earlier, the only difference in it is that it has alternating current traction. Oh yeah, there is one other difference too. It is also an enhanced locomotive, kind of like the SD60E or the SD40E. And enhanced is what the E stands for. UP has a similar SD70 ACE locomotive that they got. I believe they have 273 of them. And this unit is the EMD SD70AH. The reason why they classify it as H is because 
the H meaning that the locomotive is heavy because the ST70AH weighs 428,000 pounds instead of the regular 420,000 pounds. And now here's a BHP ST70ACE. Well, it's not any ordinary ST70ACE. I mean, the outside is exactly the same, but this here is some foreign type of SD70ACE. It is called the SD70ACE slash LCI. The LCI indicating low clearance international, and I believe BHP is the only railway that owns this one. This one has some physical difference here. This is another foreign locomotive here, as you can see. There are some big physical differences for sure on this one, but uh, this locomotive right here is called the EMD SC70 ACS. This locomotive is used for working in extreme harsh environments, like, like if it is super hot out in the desert, these locomotives are suitable for it right here. And as you all know, the SD indicating special duty, 70 is the model number, and the AC is AC traction. And the S is sand. Yeah. You see that right there? Yeah, do you really think I was joking? I'm sure y'all probably thought I was, but look at that. I'm not even kidding. And now here's another type of foreign locomotive right here. Yeah, do you notice so Wait a second. Why does this unit not have the C-axle trucks? Instead, it has two B-axle trucks. Well, this is actually necessary because this is a narrow gauge unit, and and, to, and instead of um, one C axle truck, they're using two B axle trucks. And this type of ACE unit is called the SD70 ACE hyphen BB. All right, so you know how the B means that the locomotive has four axles. Well, there's two Bs here because there's two B axles, so which meaning which means eight axles. So that's that's pretty much about it for this one here. Now these units right here actually do look a little bit different. That's because it's a tier four version of the SD70 ACE, and all all that it is called is just SD70 ACE hyphen T4, and that's about it for this unit. CSX and UP on them, I believe, and EMDX also has some as well. Here's another tier 4 version of the SD70 ACE. I mean, it doesn't really look like a tier 4, but it is. It was made for Norfolk Southern only. And this unit right here is called the UMD SD70 IAC. Now, this time, the AC doesn't actually mean alternating current traction, and the I doesn't mean isolated either, because there's no isolated cab. What it actually stands for is individual axle control. And now the first rebuild to come to the SD70 series right here. This looks exactly like an EMD SD70 MAC. However, though, it's an enhanced version of it. It's the SD70 MACE, first rebuilt by BNSF, later on rebuilt by CSX and KCS. And now here's another locomotive right here. This was specifically made for Norfolk Southern only in 2015. Well, that was until this year when Canadian Pacific bought some as well. Yeah, I think you all know what I'm talking about now. This is the EMD SD70 ACU. It is a rebuild of the SD80 MAC. Notice the back of the unit actually has um, the look of an SD80 MAC. And the U in SD70 ACU stands for Ultra Cab 2 Cab Signals. Now this is a passenger service unit here. This was made for Metro only. Metro approved order 15 of these units. I couldn't find an actual picture, so I just had to use a drawing, unfortunately. But uh, this unit here is called the UMD SD70 MACH. <laughs> this is pretty much a rebuild of the SD70 MAC made from Metra, and it is head and power equipped, which is what the H stands for. And now our final unit of the MD SD70 series. This right here was made for Norfolk Southern only, I believe. And this was built in the year 2018, the latest rebuild of the SD70 series. 
This is called the MDSD 70 acc The second C means that the locomotive has six axles. And that's pretty much about it for this one right here. And you guys just learned the entire EMD SD70 series in, a, in about in under 12 minutes. So I just want to say thank you all for watching this video. And be sure to subscribe for more content on the channel. Till next time, GR Productions is out.